And welcome back everybody to the channel. Jimmy Kolb here talking about all things Equip Bench Press. Today I have a topic that I get asked about quite a bit. What we're gonna go over is how to set your F8 Customs Bench shirt. Now these F8 Pharrell uh, Customs bench shirts are very different than what we like to call the traditional bench shirt. That is shirts that have been made from poly, denim, even shirts that have been made from canvas in the past. Companies like Titan, Inzer, Crane, Franz, and Metal, just to name a few. These newer shirts are very different and they have to be set different. Some of the things we used to do with our poly shirts uh, cannot be done when it comes to adjusting these Pharrell F8 Customs. Now, obviously you put it on exactly the same as your traditional shirt. This is my single ply F8, and we're just gonna put it on normal, just like that, above the elbows, of course. But the question comes when you're trying to adjust the shirt, when trying to pull the collar down. Traditionally with a poly, that's exactly what you would do. Your training partner would grab the front, uh, possibly even pull the back of the shirt up, and they would pull the collar down. By doing so, that puts more tension on the material. And generally speaking, they're gonna stay in place. You would oftentimes do this for a heavy second or third attempt in a meet or a very, very heavy weight in the gym that you haven't attempted yet. The problem arises with these newer pieces of equipment uh, where people still try to pull the collar down like you would on a traditional shirt, and it's not gonna work, it's not gonna stay in place. What we need to do is think of these new pieces as one whole piece from top to bottom. Now, just like other bench press shirts on the market, you have the front of the shirt, you have the belly, you also have the back. If you have a single ply bench shirt, uh, traditionally those are made with a closed back, just like uh, the t-shirt that I'm wearing here, completely closed back and a closed neck. The most popular uh, bench shirt design is having an open back, usually with Velcro closures, so it's partially closed in the back, which is exactly what the Pharrell Customs uh, F8s come with a Velcro closure on the back of the shirt. Most of it's open. There is Velcro here on the bottom. So what you need to think about is the whole shirt from top to bottom, front to back, as being one piece. So what we're gonna do, if I wanted to go for a heavier weight, something like that, I'm gonna take the entire shirt off, I'm gonna hold it, okay, on the outside of the arms, pull it against my chest exactly where I want it. And I'm gonna take a visual note on where it is. Once I have it set where I want, then my training partner is going to Velcro the back in now that lower position. So to lower the shirt, lower the collar, I have to unvelcro it and move the whole thing up and down as one piece. Obviously in this video, I'm not wearing a belt, but traditionally as well, you also wanna wear a belt to help secure that shirt down that lower position. Keep it from riding back up as you are moving around, setting up on the bench, and then we're ready to go. But then to reiterate, to go back the other direction, if I wanted to go lighter, to move the collar back up again, my training partner is going to unvelcro the shirt. I'm again I'm gonna take it completely off, hold it on the outside of the arms, place it in its higher position, make take a visual note of where it is, have my training partner again, Velcro it now in the higher position, put a belt on, and now we have fully adjusted the shirt from top to bottom. Again, most of the times these F8 custom shirts are very easy to get in and out of, so use that to your advantage. It might be an extra step, but taking it completely off, resetting it where you want it, taking a visual note, and then re-velcroing it in the lower position or the higher position is very well worth it. So short, sweet, and to the point. Thank you all for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and tune in for more bench press videos. Until next time, stay strong.